Dividend Pro Team Builder comes with a fantastic feature to customize the navigation menu and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. Go to Dividend Pro Dashboard and select Theme Builder tab. Use the filter options to select Mega Menu Layouts only. This is going to filter the menu designs we have. Currently there are two menu layouts but we are going to add more in the future of course. If you want to preview these menu designs, click the view button to see the demo on an actual page. To use these menus on your website, click the save button. You can save both if you want, so you can later change it. Now that you saved it to your library, click the customizer button, toggle Dividend Pro settings and then toggle global navigation menu. From the drop down menu here, make sure to select one of the menus that you saved to your library previously. I'm going to select Magnificent Mega Menu. And of course, if you want to use the WordPress default menu, make sure to select the first option. Then click the Publish button to save the settings. If you haven't already, go to Appearance, then Menus to create a new menu. So you want to click Create a new menu link and you want to give this menu a name. Let's call it Magnificent Menu and click the Create Menu button. Of course, you want to add some pages to this menu and I'm going to add some dummy pages, custom links here. Let's add this, page two, and let's add another one. For example, page three, there we go. And I'm now going to save this menu. Now that we have our menu created, we want to go to Divi, Divi Library, and we want to edit Magnificent Mega Menu template because inside the template there's a full width menu module, and we want to add or select the menu that we have just created. So go to this module settings and use this drop down menu option to select the menu that you created. So I'm going to set this to Magnificent Menu and I'm going to click the Save and Exit. Now I'm just going to update this template and we're going to preview our website quickly just to make sure that Magnificent Mega Menu works and that our menu is selected. And there we go, I can see page one, page two and page three. But now what you might notice is that uh, when I hover these pages, I don't get that uh, really great looking sub-menu. We are back to Magnificent Mega Menu template and uh, this section here is uh, the top bar and this section here is of course the menu and now we have one, two, three, four sections and those are all, uh, let me quickly show you the demo once again. As you can see, if I hover about services, contact and portfolio, I get this uh, stunning uh, sub menu. So we have about services, contact and portfolio. And if you go to each section settings, you can see in advanced tab, CSS ID has those exact names. We have about services, contact and portfolio. And here's what I, why I mentioned that. If you go to Appearance Menus, and if you are back to our menu, we want to assign those same uh, IDs to the menu items classes. In other words, if I would like to activate, for example, the About submenu to the page one in my menu, I'm going to write About in the CSS class here. Oh, by the way, if you don't see the CSS class input field here, you want to click screen options and make sure to check the CSS classes. So if I add about here and I can add contact here, for example, and for the page three, I'm going to add services and this is going to trigger uh, those three sub menus. Now, if we preview our website quickly, now if I hover these pages, I should see those sub menus, and there we are. So, and that's 
that's all I think and you can do the same for the other menu we have and for any future menu that we uh, are going to add for sure in our library. To customize the content uh, that you see when you hover over the elements, uh, go to Divi, Divi library once again you want to customize the mega menu template you're using and here we have added the about content and here we have the contact uh, content. So this section is the about one and uh, all the customization you want to do you can do uh, right here directly. Let's for example change this title. I'm going to click the title module settings and I'm just going to write here uh, this is the new title and I'm going to save and exit and update so what this is going to update it is supposed to change this text here let's quickly re refresh and here we are that's it thanks for watching